Good day, Grade 8 learners. Welcome to our Quarter 3, Week 1 and Week 2 lessons. I am Sir Richard Mariano, your teacher for this lesson. Para sa ating lesson ngayong araw, ang ating most essential learning competency ay Explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. Ang specific objectives naman na ating tatalakayin ay ang mga sumusunod. Number 1. Distinguish matter from non-matter. Number 2. Describe the properties of the three common physical states of matter. At number 3, state the basic principles of the particle nature of matter. Bago tayo magsimula, I will give you some quick reminders. Number 1, set a conducive learning space. Number 2, take time to read the lessons presented. Number 3, follow the directions before doing the activities. Number 4, ask assistance from your parents or guardians. Number 5, don't hesitate to contact your teacher if some concepts are unclear to you. And number 6, reflect and apply the concepts that you have learned. Let us now have a short review of what you have learned when you were in grade 7. Classify the following samples as matter or non-matter. In a clean sheet of paper, you are going to write M if the term or object is matter and N if it is non-matter. Number 1. Stones. Is it matter or non-matter? The answer is, yes, it is matter. Number 2. Love. The answer is Yes, it is non-matter Number 3, clouds The answer is Yes, it's matter Number 4, water The answer is of course, matter. Number five, sadness. The answer is? Yes, it's non-matter. Number six, excitement. The answer is? It's also non-matter. Number seven, face mask. The answer is force matter. Number 8. Air inside the balloons. Obviously, the answer is matter. Number 9. Heat. The answer is non matter. And number 10, Sanitizer. The answer is... Matter. Very good. Let's now go back to the definition of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. That's the reason why stone, clouds, Water, face mask, air inside the balloons, and sanitizer are considered matters. This is because they are all made up of particles and they occupy space and have a mass. Whereof, love, sadness, excitement, these are not matter and these are considered non-matter because these are feelings or emotions. On the other hand, heat is not also considered as matter. 
because heat is a form of energy which can only be absorbed by matter or can transfer from one form to another form. Matters generally exist in three states, the solids, the liquids, and the gases. Solid materials are generally hard. They have definite shape and volume. Their particles are also compact. Whereof liquid materials generally flow. They have definite volume but with indefinite shape as they assume or take the shape of their container. Their particles are loosely compact compared to solid particles. Gaseous materials easily disperse or easily disappears inside. This is because their molecules are very loosely compact, allowing them to move very easily away from each other. They do not have definite volume and shape, as they take the volume and shape of their containers respectively. Since I already gave you brief descriptions of the three states of matter, let's now have a short activity entitled, What's the Matter in the House? On the table, listed are some of the common household materials and substances. What are you going to do is that you are going to classify them according to their states as solids, liquids, and gases. Let us now check your work. For solids, the materials are Spoon Mongo seeds Sugar granules Firewood and ice. For liquid, we have vinegar, cooking oil, dishwashing liquid, soy sauce, Clorox, water in a glass, and droplets underneath a rice cooker cover. What about the gaseous materials? These are air inside a balloon, water vapor from boiling water, and smoke from burning firewood. Yay! Let us learn more about matter. As we all know, matter is made up of tiny particles. Let us now discuss about these particles. Are you ready? Particles of matter have spaces between them. The spaces between the solid particles is the least in between for the liquid particles and maximum in gases, as you can see on the illustration. With very little space in between the particles, solids have a pretty compact structure. Whereas liquids and gases with relatively more spaces between the particles, have loosely packed structures. Did you get it? Yes! Number two, particles of matter are continuously moving. The particles in a gas move the fastest, in between for the liquid particles, and the slowest in the solid. Solids vibrate about their own position. In fact, the particles in solid do not move from their spot. They simply vibrate about their own position. While the faster movement in liquids and gases explain how they take up the shape of a container, while solids can't. Do you still can follow? Yes! For our number three, Particles of matter attract each other. From the given illustration, the particles of gases have maximum space between and the lowest force of attraction. The particles of liquid have less space than the particles of gas and have a stronger force of attraction. And solid particles with the least space between them have the strongest force of attraction. Let us have a review of what we have learned. Solid, least space, strongest attraction. For liquid, 
less space, higher attraction. And for gas with maximum space, they have the lowest attraction. Do you have any questions? So if none, let us have another activity. Bring out your notebook and let's answer complete me. Read and analyze the given paragraph on the next slide and use the words inside the box to supply the missing word on each item. You can pause this video so that you can write down the choices. Let me read the paragraph. The particle nature of matter describes different aspects. All matter is made up of blank, are incredibly small to be seen by the naked eye. The particle can be blank or combinations of atoms that are bonded. There are blank that act between the particles. The particle of matter are always blank all the time. The more blank they have, the blank they move. The spaces between the particles in matter are blank. The space between particles contain nothing at all. So let us now check your answer. For number one, the missing word is particles. The particle nature of matter describes different aspects. All matter is made up of particles are incredibly small to be seen by the naked eye. The particle can be atoms or combination of atoms that are bonded. There are forces that act between the particles. The particle of matter are always moving all the time. The more energy they have, the faster they move. The space between the particles in matter are empty. The space between particles contain nothing at all. I'm pretty sure you have learned something new from our previous activity. So let's now have another activity entitled, Take Me In and Arrange Me. It is composed of two parts. And now let's answer the first part. Complete the table below to determine the properties of solid, liquid, and gas. Here is the table. You can now copy on your notes the table. So now let's answer the first part of your activity. Property shape for solid. The shape is definite. Liquid, the shape is indefinite and for gas the shape is indefinite because liquid and gas takes the shape of its container what about for volume for solid the volume is definite for liquid the volume is also definite because if you're going to transfer a cup of water in a certain cup the volume stays the same and for gas the volume is indefinite Third property, expand to fill the container. Yes or no? For solid, no, it will not expand. For liquid, no, it will not also expand. And for gas, yes, the particles of gases expand to fill the container. What about the particles in constant motion? Yes or no? Yes for solid. Another yes for liquid. And also yes for gas because particles in matter are moving constantly. Isn't it? Yes! Okay, what about easy to flow? In solid, does not flow easily. Liquid, it flows easily. And for the gas, it also flows easily. So now, let's have the second part of our activity, Take Me In and Arrange Me. Arrange in descending order the three states of matter, solid, liquid, or gas, based on the given properties. So the first property is compressibility. Second one, density. Third one, 
closeness of the particles, fourth, strength of attraction between particles, and fifth, kinetic energies of particles. All you have to do is fill in the blank from highest to lowest. Fill in with solid, liquid, or gas. Okay, I'll give you ample time to answer the activity. For the answers in our part 2 activity, you can contact your teacher or science teacher for the correct answer. So congratulations everyone! Mission accomplished! Once again, many thanks. Thank you for a fruitful learning. See you next time!